What's up guys, Alan here, and this is the second vlog to the channel. Um, I promise there's gonna be more vlogs um, like this for the channel, but um, <clears throat> the thing that we're gonna be talking about in this video, or this vlog, is uh, the thing that we're gonna be talking about, I just repeated myself. So what we're gonna be talking about in this video is um, the next videos that are gonna be coming up for the channel and the potential upcoming of a second channel. But I'm going to just be telling you guys what the next classic video, I mean, what the next classic games mashup video is going to be. And that I'm going to be continuing on Resident Evil 2, trying to get that finished for you guys. Getting that ready for Resident Evil Remake. So the next classic games mashup, number three, is going to be these three games. It's going to be Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And then it's going to be Doom 3 for the Xbox um, 360. Or no, the original Xbox, sorry. And Shamara, Samurai Showdown, uh, freaking Samurai Showdown Analogy, um, Samurai Showdown 3, which is, um, yeah, Samurai Showdown 3, uh, only because I'm good at that game and I'm not good at any other, any other, other Samurai Showdown games. Um, uh, so yeah, that's going to be the next classic games mashup. And then the Resident Evil 2 videos are going to keep coming and then whatever else I decide to make, but um another thing another thing in regards to this vlog is a video is my video games collection i'm going to be showcasing um and we'll get to that in a second but i also wanted to i also wanted to um i wanted to talk about the um the new channel that might be a new channel i haven't decided yet that new channel was going to be about was going to be like putting these vlogs on that channel and then I had an idea, excuse me, I had an idea at one point in time in my life where I would make horror stories for the channel, and I never got around to doing that, but I kind of wanted, I kind of, I kind of got like put back in that era where, you know, I started thinking about it again, so I don't know, maybe that might be a thing. I just wanted you guys to know ahead of time, you know, that that's something that could happen, you know. But it's up to you guys whether you want to see that, you know. Um, if you guys want to see that, of course, hit the like button for this video. It'll let me know that you guys want to see the second channel and see horror stories and stuff and like that. I got this one app that I'm working with um, from for the iPhone. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what, what, it, what it's called. It's called the, um, what is it called? It's called something. It's 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 an app that has a lot to do with um it's an app that has a lot to do with making you make you make you can make the background of a video and then you can talk over that video right after you're done, you know, with the background. I was thinking about going outside, you know, just recording the back you know, recording the environment and all that stuff and then just using this app. I think it's called Video Leap. Um it's either called Video Leap or it's called Go Go Record. I think it's called Go Record or Video Leap. Um, so yeah, you use uh, Go Record, I think that's what it's called. And you can record the background of a video um, with, your, with your normal camera and then you can compress that video into the Go um, Record app. And they got two options. You can either go with commentary or you can go with um, face cam. And when I found out, when I found out about the face cam thing, you know, that just gives me, a, that gave me an idea in regards to multiple videos, but I just don't want to record myself not talking at all, playing a game and then going on go record and then using the face cam, you know, to, to talk through that video because it won't feel, it won't feel like a real video, you know? So that's why I'm saving up for a laptop, you know, and all that stuff. A laptop with a built-in face cam in it already. That way I can work with that, you know, and all that stuff. Then all I would need is a green screen and all that extra stuff that requires money, which I don't have. Um, and I also want to thank you guys for the continued support. Like, if it weren't for you guys, the channel would be nowhere. Like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at nine subscribers right now to be nine of the best people on earth that took the time out of their day to watch my content 
on a day, not daily basis, but you know, from time to time, whenever I post something new, you know, like, like my injustice videos, my, my, my first Street Fighter 2 video that I posted on my old um, iPhone, which got 104 likes. I mean, not 104 likes, 104 views. <laughs> well, what would I give for 104? I'm just playing. But um, yeah, yeah, that video has 104 views. And I'm, I simply can't thank you guys enough. Like, thank you all for the continued support. And I know, like, your most... Um, I know like your most popular YouTubers nowadays, they don't think about little numbers anymore. They go for like the bigger numbers. They got like big subscriber counts, which, you know, more, most respect to them because they worked so hard to get to where they are. I'm not throwing that out as in like, you know, they did it by cheating, but I'm just saying like they, they work so hard to get their content noticed and to communicate with their audience and whatnot and to get the, you know, and to get their fans, you know, loving everything that they do. And that's kind of what I want to do too. Um, when I saw the vid when I saw the channel, um, reach a thousand views from like every video that I've ever created now taken. Now keep in mind, I made 61 videos so far, a thousand views from 61 videos. That's insane. So I, r I really appreciate that. Like guys, I appreciate that. I appreciate it so much. And for all the people watching on Facebook, thank you so much. Because your support actually matters too. And Twitter, your support matters too. Like, everybody's support matters for the channel. It's just, like, I don't have many social links that I can, that I can you know, communicate with people, you know, with. So, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube are the only ones, are the only social, known social links that I can actually use to connect with, you know, with, with everybody. So, yeah, um, that's the update in regards to the second channel possibility. And that's just literally everything that I wanted to square away before I showed you guys my gaming collection. So now we're going to go, sh now we're going to go to the gaming collection. All right, guys. So here's my gaming collection. Um, there's a lot of games here, so I'm just going to go into the group. All right, I'm going to sit on my bed real quick. Actually, I'm not going to sit on my bed. All right, so we got Street Fighter V, which I've been posting on the channel. Uh, we got the Resident Evil Origins collection. Uh, the light is in the freaking way. And then we got Far Cry Primal. We got Dying Light, which is a good game. We got Street Fighter, the, th the 30th collection that just came out recently. We got Resident Evil 4, which... I promise you guys, I'm going to be making videos on those again. Let me just kneel down so you guys can see it. We got Far Cry 4, Injustice 2. We got Resident Evil 6, which was, which is, I have no idea why I still got that. We got Evil Within 2, which I told you guys I was going to be putting this on the channel after I beat Resident, I mean, after I beat the Evil Within 1. It is the Evil Within 1, and I'm going to be getting back into this game. I just need a little bit more time. Is Dishonored. I'm going to get back into this game. Finish it on the channel. We got Horizon Zero Dawn. We got Resident Evil 5. And this is what something that I was talking... This is something that I was wanting to do in regards to uh, um, tagging with my brother um, doing the co-op um, thing. But uh, we'll, 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 think, we'll think more on that when the time calls for it. Um, Resident Evil 7, which I was thinking about putting on the channel too. And then Dragon Ball Z Fighter or Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So that's the PlayStation 2 collection. All right, so now we got the PlayStation. Uh, the, the, did I just say PlayStation 2? All right, so we got the PlayStation 2 collection. We got Max Payne, which I'm pretty sure you guys know what Max Payne is. <laughs> we got Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. We got the Capcom Classics Collection Volume 1 and 2. We got Max Payne 2 to follow Max Payne. We got Mortal Kombat Armageddon. We got the Street Fighter 2 collection, which, yeah, I'm a Street Fighter nerd. We got Medal of Honor Rising Sun, which by far is one of the most funniest games I've ever played. That and Medal of Honor Frontline. We have Mortal Kombat Deception for the PS2. Probably one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh games ever created. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. 
Yu-Gi-Oh! The Beginning of, a, of the Destiny. I might play this on the... I might put this on Facebook or something um, to uh, show you guys just how laggy this game is. We got Resident Evil Dead Aim. I'm a Resident Evil fanatic. Um, we got Ultimate Mortal Kombat. And we got Mortal Kombat 3. And we got Mortal Kombat Trilogy. So, yeah, we got both of those. No, that, actually, that's Mortal Kombat 4. I'm sorry. I don't know why I call it Mortal Kombat 3 in there. We got Samurai Showdown Analogy. <clears throat> sorry. We got probably another good Yu-Gi-Oh! game out there. Forbidden Memories for the PlayStation. Probably one of the best games ever made, too. And then this is probably one of the cheapest Mortal Kombat games ever made because... You know, well, I'll let I'll let the game speak for itself in the next in the next classic game matchup. All right, so GameCube, Nintendo GameCube, we got Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We got Coliseum, which is probably one of the best Pokemon games in my opinion. Resident Evil Two, which I've been putting on the channel lately. Resident Evil Four for the GameCube. Now, we are now I already showed you Resident Evil Four for the PS4, but I also have it for the, you know. For the GameCube. I had it for the PS2 also, but I don't know what I did with it. Um, we got Resident Evil Remake, the remake game. Let's see. Can you guys see? Turn off, turn out the lights, lock the doors, live the nightmare. Look at that big old spider. Let's get into focus. Let's see if I can oops, see if I can focus into that big old spider. See, yeah, you know, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil Zero for the GameCube. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to be funny. Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is one of the hardest... Re uh, I was about to say Resident Evil, which was one of the hardest Need for Speed games ever made. Dang, cops. All right. I love cops, but, you know, screw, screw those cops right there. All right, so we got Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, which I was thinking about putting this on the channel. Um, But I wanted to make sure... I wanted to wait until I got... uh. I wanted to wait until I got Resident Evil 2, you know, on the channel first. So, yeah. Then we got Resident Evil Code Veronica for the GameCube. And you guys already know I've, I've got Code Veronica on the PS4 also. So now, sorry, you guys keep seeing my hand. Uh, we, got Tenchu, we got the Xbox 360 collection. Tenchu Z, this is my favorite. This is my childhood game, like for real. I love that game. Um, I had to rent, um, back in Baltimore, I had to rent this game from, uh, Blockbusters when Blockbusters was still a thing, and, yeah, I played through all of it in that, in that following night, it was, it was, it was classic, I, I loved, I loved it, I might put that on the channel, who knows, um, then we got Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil, which is another good game got Gears of War 3, which I play for multiplayer reasons. I don't play the campaign that much anymore. We got Ultra Street Fighter 4. This is where my this is where my love for Street Fighter began. Not Ultra Street Fighter 4, but the original Street Fighter 4. Don't be don't be um don't be fooled by the box. Um this is a this is a PlayStation 3 box, but um 007 Bloodstone is actually a 360 game, so and then we got Co uh, Quantum of Solace, 007. Resident Evil 5 for the 360. We got the Halo Master Chief Collection, which, which in my opinion, is one of my favorite games because it allows me to play Halo. It allows me to go back to Halo 2, but with better graphics. Um, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now, when this game came out, I thought that this game was like, you know, was going to have like Gears of Wars 1, 2, and 3 in it. But I was I was wrong. We got Gears of War 2 for the campaign reason. I don't really play this for multiplayer that much. Uh, I think I showcased this already. Doom 3, the ultimate, the limited collector's edition. This this version has the classic Doom 1 and Doom 2 in it. So Samurai Showdown Sin, which is a fighting game. It's pretty much it's it, it's pretty much just like um, where is it at? It's pretty much just like, uh, let's see if I can find it. Where are you? There you are. It's pretty much, it's pretty much this, but in 3D. Um, then we got the Evil Within for the 360. 
Um, we got Need for Speed Most Wanted for the 360, which I played, um, which I played and I enjoyed. And then we got this monstrosity of a game, which is uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And let's see, let's go over to our SNES games, which you guys saw most of them, but um, I still I still got a few to show. Now you guys you guys know about this one, Street Fighter Two. We got Killer Instinct. We got Mortal Kombat 2. That was in the last um, classic game mashup. But then we got Super Street Fighter 2 for the SNES. And we also got Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the SNES. Um, now, yeah, I play PSP games. So, yeah, fight me. <laughs> um, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, Tag Force. It's in Japanese. But I, I told you, I already... Um, I, I know how to speak some Japanese. Just not a lot of Japanese, but I know how to speak some Japanese. Just... Don't don't hold me to that. Um, we got this Sega Genesis collection for the PSP. These were these were just games that I bought, you know, to when we were traveling. You know, I'd have like access to my PSP. You know, I play these games while we were traveling and all this stuff. This was before I got myself a uh, my my driver's license and stuff like that. I, I wasn't able to drive, so yeah. You know, Tag Force Five. That's in English. Valkyria Chronicles 2. This is one of those RPG style games where you control a team. And it was like this this was a very this is a very good game, in my opinion. Not many people would, would um would agree to the to those terms. This is also a good game. This I think is an RPG style too. I used to have this for the 360 as well. It wasn't called Fantasy Star Portable though. It was called Fantasy Star uh something universe i think that's what it was called all right guys so that was the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like share with your friends see if they liked it enjoyed it um and if you're new subscribe today you know for more content um that's that's for youtube for facebook you guys know what to do just hit that like button you know show some support you know like y'all always been doing and to be honest like i said thank you guys so much like your support actually means a lot to me not just for YouTube, but for Facebook, too, and Twitter. So, yeah. With that being said, my name is Alan, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Why did I just do this? Why? Why did I just do... You know what?